these men getting emotionally distraught about women getting stood up on dates. Like, you're the only one. You're not. You're not special. You're not special. I'm not special. She's not special. Your mom's not special. Nobody's freaking special. It happens to everyone. Everybody's getting roasted and ghosted and barbecue toast and whatever other games that happen to come around these days. Yo, what is going on, guys? I hope you are all doing well. So you could probably already tell by this woman's facial expression that today's episode is going to be a good one. So right here, guys, we have a woman who, after dating all kinds of different men, is just sick and tired of being ghosted. She is sick and tired of being flaked on, and she is sick and tired of being unable to secure commitment from men. But guys, before we jump into today's episode, as always, remember to subscribe to our other content creators Hadan from Peace of Mind and Detective Warg. Guys, if you're a masochistic individual and you'd like to see more of this type of content, make sure that you go and check them out. Their channels are linked in the video description. Yesterday I said sadist like an idiot, but I meant to say if you're a masochistic individual. So without further ado, guys, let's take a listen to what she has to say and see if she can enlighten us. And getting emotionally always get what you pay for. These men getting emotionally distraught about women getting stood up on dates. Like, you're the only one. You're not. You're not special. You're not special. I'm not special. She's not special. Your mom's not special. Nobody's freaking special. It happens to everyone. Everybody's getting roasted and ghosted and barbecue toast and whatever other games that happen to come around these days. You could be. I love how these modern ladies seem to think that getting ghosted, having guys stand you up and flake on you these things are unavoidable maybe if you select men who are actually interested in you you wouldn't have this problem but you see guys most men are invisible to most women these days they think that they're deserving they think that they're entitled to a dude who is above them and the majority of men who are actually interested in having a relationship with a woman the guys who would actually be good for these girls and who would you know do things for them be kind to them support them they don't want these types of men because they don't respect them, they're not attracted to them, and they think that they are deserving of better. And barbecue, toast, and whatever other games that happen to come around these days. You could be 25, 35, 45, it doesn't matter. It's the same shit. I've dated them all. I've tried every age group. I've tried every class, status. It doesn't matter. I've tried anything that you can think of to find somebody who is a decent person to date, and it just doesn't work. That is the most laughable thing I have ever heard. So guys, please do not believe this crap from women when they come along and say, oh, I've tried dating all of these different kind of guys. I just can't find a single nice man, really. That, that's what you're telling me. You cannot find a single kind man on the face of the planet. You've dated all sorts of different age groups. I'm going to say different occupations, all of this kind of crap. And you can't find one man who's good guys something seems a little bit off to me and you'll see these girls they never view themselves as the issue in all of their relationships like i see dudes right and this is the saddest thing ever man they'll come out of like these really long-term relationships and at the end of it you know their girl will have done something awful and the men will come out thinking that they're the problem a lot of the times because these girls can't fathom that they do anything wrong it's so crazy, guys, how this woman has dated and she reckons, you know, you can get to 45 years of age and still be doing this crap, right? I, I swear, man, the West is such a terrible place to date, especially for men, because there are plenty of nice men out there. There are plenty of good men out there. They are just invisible to you. And I've said this, guys, so many times, but like when a woman gets like a taste of that guy who's above her, she doesn't want to go back because she feels like she's downgrading. She's like, oh, you know, I had this guy for a week this one time, and yeah, he didn't commit to me, but he was fantastic in bed, and he made a lot of money, so surely that's what I'm deserving of. No. Just because a guy will entertain you for a short amount of time does not mean that you're entitled to his commitment, does not mean you're entitled to his validation or his resources. Let's keep going. 
Nobody's willing to commit. Nobody's willing to actually put in the effort for a relationship anymore. And that goes. That's bull crap. Abs absolute bull. There are plenty of men who are willing to do those things, who are willing to put in effort for relationships, who are willing to do the hard work. Guys, I know dudes who have literally sacrificed 10 plus years of their life to support a woman, to give her a home, okay, to do all of these fantastic things for her. And really, it doesn't even take that much to get that out of a man. How about a little bit of gratitude? But most of the guys who would do these things, the women just completely overlook them. And even if a guy who is good does come along and enter or tries to enter her life, a lot of the times, guys, they're not even willing to receive anything good into their life. It's like if you give these individuals, a lot of them, not all, but if you give a lot of them anything positive, they just can't stand it. Like these people who they'll come along, they will spend all day crying about their problems. You can give them a solution. You can give them um, something that's going to help them solve the problem. And they just don't want to hear it because they'd rather sit in the negativity. They'd rather sit in their anxiety and be unsure about the guy who they're texting and why he isn't replying and all this crap rather than actually have that healthy, available relationship that's right there in front of her. That was for men and women. It is not one gender role anymore. Dating is trash. Men don't trust women. Women don't trust men. It is the way of the world. Guys, I'll say this, okay? The idea that men don't trust women, yeah, it's absolutely true. Absolutely true. You guys look at divorce courts, you look at the current laws, men can literally lose all of their possessions, they can lose their children, and they don't even need to be married to you anymore. It can literally just be taken away from them through common law marriage, okay? Women have more options than ever because of social media. This whole plausible deniability crap of like, oh yeah, I posted this photo and, uh, you know, a hundred dudes liked it, but you know what? I post this for myself. Get out of here, man. Social media, in particular Instagram, uh, Tinder, the amount of validation that these women receive online, you can be damn sure that men don't trust you anymore. Add into that all the divorce uh, crap that's going on right now, the fact that men are getting fleeced for all their money, fleeced for all their kids. It's like even if a man can find a good woman, the problem is that the risk is just too damn high. But let's continue into today's next clip, guys. And I believe this one, uh, we have a woman here who's going to be talking about the patriarchy, gentlemen, and how damaging it is to absolutely everybody. So as you can see, guys, we've got a woman here um, on her iPhone, presumably, and she's going to have a little bit of a chat to us about oppression. So let's take a listen. Men get really mad if we say or imply that it's all men, even if we explain why we feel like it's all men, even. Yeah, it's almost like uh, misandry has negative connotations about it. Crazy that. Even if we say we know it's not all men, and then you've got women like me who say it's all men until it's no men. And that phrase, it's all men until it's no men, it comes from the fact that men benefit from this culture that's created. Cre potatoes, potatoes, you know, misandry, misandry, the same thing. If you come on here and you say that all men are this particular way, of course people are going to retaliate to what you have to say. Especially if you come on the internet and you start complaining about the things like patriarchy and oppression literally recorded from your iPhone. Created by the patriarchy. The patriarchy, ah, yes. you know, that thing that hurts men and women, but that men seem mm. to hold on to and want so badly. And then you have the men that... I'm going to read this text here before we continue with the video. She says, if you're a man who watches silently while other men are a wordative or violent towards women, really? then she's probably going to say that you're a part of the problem. You know, guys, with this whole like Amber Heard situation that went on fairly recently, it was really funny to watch the same women who write this crap all over their Instagrams just be completely silent during that trial. Have you guys ever noticed that? How the same women who sit here and say, oh, you know, if you're a man and you're silent, you're adding to the issue. You're part of the problem. And all of those same women, when people like Johnny Depp take the stand, very, very quiet. But it's just crickets all around. I really want to convince you that it's not all men. And once again, for clarity, it's not all men. But it's that guy. Someone would only refer to a woman he doesn't know as sweetheart to devalue her. First of all, not true. Second of all, she says here, unless you're a man speaking out loudly, you are one of them. Right, guys, and this is where the attitude where a lot of modern women are trying to make men feel ashamed of being men. 
you know, unless we stand up and unless you join their cause, gentlemen, unless you yell alongside them that most men are terrible, then you are part of the problem. No room for nuance, no room for anything else, guys. And this woman is just clearly pressed about a comment that she received. I'm going to drag this down so you guys can see it. She's responding to this comment right here, which, uh, you know, has really hurt her feelings. One would only refer to a woman he doesn't know as sweetheart to devalue her. Can't you just picture it? Oh, sweetheart, you didn't read the caption. And this comment in an effort to prove that it's not all men, but he did prove that it's him. So then I ask, where are all the good men? You know, the ones you all claim are so rampant, telling men like that to shut up. Yeah, that's that's what I thought, exactly. I don't care if a man leaves whatever comment on your video. I don't care if a woman leaves whatever comment on your video. It is not my responsibility as a man to come along and to defend you and protect you because of some comment that offended you online. This idea that men have to come along and protect you simply because we're men and we have to have arguments on your behalf, absolutely not. Absolutely not. It is straight up disgusting. It's a waste of time and it shows a lack of self-respect for the men that choose to listen to you. Exactly. Do you ever go chill with a guy and you're like, you know what? I'm not giving this guy nothing. So I'm not going to shave because if I'm a hairy beast, I obviously won't bust it down. And then somehow you still end up busting it down. Exactly. Okay, guys, so this next clip, uh, to be honest, I really don't have any idea what's going on here. Um, we have a individual who I think we've covered on the channel previously. You already know, guys, she's got the, uh, the face tattoos going on. I think she's a single mother. Don't quote me on that. I also think she does uh, OnlyFans, um, but she's going to, you know, share some of her wisdom to us. So let's take a listen to this next clip. Do you ever go chill with a guy and you're like, you know what, I'm not giving this guy nothing so i'm not gonna shave because if i'm a hairy beast i obviously won't bust it down and then somehow you still end up busting it down and all you can think about is how hairy your backyard is that doesn't happen to you guys i didn't that never happened to me either but you know hypothetically aren't you guys just glad that tiktok exists and like videos like this just run rampant all over the platform and get pushed out there, guys. I make this point so often these days, but it's just so interesting the fact that what people will choose to put out there on the internet about themselves and about their lives is really just so revealing, especially when it comes to dating, because there used to be a time when it was kind of difficult for men to talk to one another, for men to share issues with one another, or to talk about these crazy behaviors. But now it's just like they put it online for everybody to see. But guys, we're going to be continuing into the next part of today's episode. We haven't done these for a little while, but I've seen a few comments of you guys asking for a little bit of a return for Reddit stories. And I thought, hey, why the hell not? Because it's not so bad. You know, it's not like we're listening to these individuals talk. But uh, let's take a listen to this individual's Reddit story, which I have pulled up here from 10 hours ago from the cesspit that is relationship advice. And the title reads, Woman gets pissed because I've dated other women who are older than myself. Now, guys, we have heard the reversal of this all the damn time, especially with this Leonardo DiCaprio crap that's been going on. Uh, a lot of women are straight up upset because a Hollywood film star is choosing to date young women. You know, shock horror absolutely terrible things out here um but we have a reversal of this situation where a woman's got frustrated because he as a man is choosing choosing to date women who are older uh than himself so let's take a listen let's take a read and see how this woman gets upset so he says hi all just wanted to run a situation by you i a 30 year old male have been talking to this woman who is a 26 year old female for a couple of weeks now We've met twice and hit it off in person, but some wild crap happened today that I need help evaluating objectively. Yeah, because this is the place where you go for objective feedback, guys. You go to Reddit. 
basically we were texting back and forth today and the subject of my past dating life came up the subject excuse me uh she asked how old the women i've dated are now i admit this is the first time i get involved with someone younger than myself i'm pretty attracted to women older than me and have had relationships with women between three and five years my senior not that big of a gap but i just have a thing for hit for them so this is a dude who apparently prefers to date older women um which i can't imagine is too uncommon but probably not too normal uh he says so today we're talking about money i let her know in the grad school program i just finished a lot of students came from money and would always be inviting me to outings that i just could not comfortably fit into my budget because my father isn't an oil baron she tells me basically that she now understands why i go for older women because usually they're more financially stable and established i let her know that when i was working before my program i was just as financially conscious and established as whoever i was in a relationship with and was more than happy to go 50 50 on expenses you know the funny part i find about this guys is like dudes who date younger women will piss a lot of women off especially except for the young ones right it's interesting how this works okay so young women don't really have an issue with older men dating them because they're the one receiving uh the attention receiving the validation receiving the relationships uh the resources whatever else but a lot of these women what happens is they get older and then they then get pissed off because the younger women are dating these older dudes right all of the dudes who are in their age bracket who they would view as good partners are choosing to go for the younger girls the more attractive women and they lose their mind okay but it seems at least in this reddit post guys that this man just can't win because dating an older woman has just gone and turned around and uh frustrated this woman that he's currently seeing so he says uh, at that at that point she called me a cheapskate who has bad manners because no woman should ever have to pay for a meal and she would never in uh, have intimate relationships with a guy who didn't pay for her food because that's just being a gentleman don't you guys love how in the year 2022 being a gentleman is apparently something that's still required right but it's not required for a woman to be a lady right a man's uh traditional roles seem to be non-negotiable for a lot of ladies but uh being a lady so to speak is not is completely negotiable for a lot of women right and guys i'll say this okay the fact that men are expected to go out and do all of these things for women who previously see dudes who have done none of these things is ridiculous so let me give you an example okay a lot of these girls will straight up expect a man to come along to be chivalrous to open all the doors to do all these fantastic things for her meanwhile she's on instagram uh she's on tinder uh she's fishing for male validation everywhere she can get it um she's rude she's entitled she's narcissistic and she expects you as a man to come along and invest in that when the guys who she's previously seen haven't had to do any of that right they just come along they use her they throw her to the side they don't need to buy her anything outside of perhaps a mcdonald's and that is the end of that let's keep going she let me know she had this all figured out and no wonder i only dated older women who were dumb with no self-respect and would give it up for some cheap guy who makes them pay for stuff i tried to just play it off and told her that her value uh, her evaluation of me wasn't really based off reality i, I don't think she knows uh, what this word means brother i'll be completely honest with you and she really didn't have a reason to make all those assumptions but she kept railing on about it basically telling me it makes so much sense that i go for women who make more money than me we've never even touched the subject of income and i wasn't about to drop my current salary for her and are stupid and have no self-respect not sure how she's achieved omniscience in my past relationships or on them so i guess my question is am i insane or is this a massive red flag now to me personally guys this is a huge red flag absolutely psychotic woman but let us know what you think in the comments but guys we're going to be leaving today's episode there um as always remember to go and subscribe to our other content creators hadan from peace of mind and detective warg don't forget to leave your comments and as always gentlemen make sure you take care of yourselves and i'll be seeing you all in the next episode peace
Yo guys, it's Taylor here. Just want to say thank you if you made it to the end of today's episode. Before you go, remember to subscribe to our other Fiend Gang members. Their channels will be linked in the video description. Our newest member is Detective Warg, so make sure that you go and show him some love. He's putting out daily content for you guys. Also, one of the characters I use and also a lot of our thumbnail artwork is done by an artist called The Gecko Ninja. He's absolutely fantastic and his socials are going to be linked in the video description as well if you want to commission him for some amazing art. Otherwise, take it easy, gents, and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.